Australia has committed itself to one of the most ambitious defense modernization projects in its history through the AUKUS submarine program. The plan involves acquiring nuclear-powered submarines with U.S. and British technology, supported by massive infrastructure investments such as the newly announced Henderson Defense Precinct. The strategic logic is simple. Submarines are the ultimate deterrent, invisible and capable of striking deep into an adversary's territory. But a growing body of research and new reporting suggests that this assumption may no longer hold. Advances in quantum sensing and seabed detection technologies could undermine the very foundation of undersea warfare, calling into question whether Australia's $200 billion bet is already outdated. For decades, submarines have been prized because of their ability to operate undetected. The oceans are vast, noisy, and hostile to traditional sensors. Diesel electric submarines like Australia's Collins class rely on silence and stealth, while nuclear submarines add the advantage of virtually unlimited endurance. Canberra has placed its faith in this model, preparing to transition from Collins to Virginia class boats in the 2030s and then to the jointly developed SSN AUKUS in the 2040s. The rationale is that a handful of nuclear submarines can provide deterrence far beyond Australia's shores, complicating any adversary's naval planning. The rise of quantum technology threatens to upend that calculation. Quantum magnetometers are capable of detecting the faint magnetic anomalies created when a massive metal object like a submarine disturbs the Earth's magnetic field. Unlike conventional sensors, they are not limited by line of sight or by the submarine's decision to run silent. Quantum gravimeters, another emerging technology, can detect tiny changes in local gravity caused by the presence of large objects moving underwater. While still experimental, they promise a form of passive detection that submarines cannot easily counter. Beyond quantum devices, seabed sensor networks are advancing rapidly. Arrays of hydrophones, magnetometers, and even quantum-enhanced detectors could be deployed across choke points such as the Malacca Strait or the approaches to the South China Sea. Coupled with artificial intelligence to filter ocean noise, such networks could track submarine movements in near real time. China, the United States, and European powers are all pouring billions into research and development in this field. Reports from Chinese institutes boast of breakthroughs in quantum sensing, while Western analysts caution that the technology may not yet be battlefield ready. For Australia, the implications are sobering. The AUKUS program is expected to cost more than 200 billion Australian dollars over its lifetime, a sum justified largely by the assumption that nuclear submarines will remain undetectable and therefore highly survivable. If future adversaries can reliably track them, that survivability disappears. Nuclear submarines would still be powerful assets, but their deterrent value would decline sharply. Ghost Shark, the autonomous underwater vehicle program that Canberra has already funded with 1.7 billion Australian dollars, offers one alternative, unmanned, expendable, and deployable in numbers. A future force mix might rely less on a handful of highly expensive submarines and more on swarms of autonomous drones. International reactions mirror this uncertainty. The United States and the United Kingdom continue to invest in submarines as the centerpiece of their naval deterrence, while also funding quantum sensing research. This dual-track approach reflects caution. Until proven otherwise, submarines are still indispensable, but governments are hedging against disruptive technologies. China, by contrast, emphasizes its progress in quantum applications as a way to undermine Western submarine dominance. By claiming the ability to see the unseen, Beijing signals that AUKUS investments could be neutralized. In the wider Indo-Pacific, countries like Japan, South Korea, and India are closely watching developments, 
If detection technology matures, they may reconsider their own submarine procurement strategies. It is important to recognize that quantum sensing is not a finished product. Current systems are bulky, extremely sensitive to environmental noise, and difficult to operate in the dynamic conditions of the ocean. Deploying a dense global network of seabed sensors would require vast expense and logistical support. Even then, submarines may develop countermeasures such as degaussed hulls, decoy drones, or tactics designed to overwhelm sensors with false signals. In other words, while the threat is real, its timeline remains uncertain. Still, the strategic dilemma is undeniable. If Australia continues down the AUKUS path, it could end up fielding nuclear submarines just as technology renders them far less effective. If it shifts away, it risks undermining the alliance commitments that AUKUS represents and leaving itself without a credible undersea deterrent. The answer may lie in diversification. Investing in both manned nuclear submarines and autonomous systems like Ghost Shark provides flexibility. At the same time, Australia must develop a doctrine that assumes submarines are no longer invulnerable, but part of a contested undersea environment where resilience matters more than invisibility. There are also budgetary implications. Every dollar spent on nuclear submarines is a dollar not spent on air defense, base hardening, or other urgent needs. Critics argue that betting so heavily on submarines in the face of disruptive technology is reckless. Supporters counter that, even if detectability increases, nuclear submarines will remain valuable for their endurance, speed, and payload capacity. What both sides agree on is that Canberra must not ignore the quantum revolution. Failing to anticipate this change could leave Australia with a fleet of extraordinarily expensive assets that deliver less deterrence than planned. The debate is not just technical. Coipus, it goes to the heart of how Australia conceives its defense strategy in the Indo-Pacific. AUKUS was sold as a generational leap, giving Canberra the tools to operate alongside the United States and the United Kingdom at the highest level of naval warfare. Quantum sensing calls that vision into question, forcing policymakers to ask whether they are investing in the future or in a legacy system already under threat. The answer will shape not only Australia's force structure, but also its role in the regional balance of power. In conclusion, quantum technology may not yet be mature enough to render submarines obsolete, but the trend line is clear. The ocean is becoming more transparent, and the days of guaranteed undersea invisibility may be numbered. Australia must prepare for that reality, even as it proceeds with AUKUS. Diversification, resilience, and adaptability will be the keys to ensuring that its massive investments in naval power remain relevant. The question for viewers is stark. Will nuclear submarines remain the ultimate weapon of the sea? Or will quantum technology make them relics of the past? Share your views in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support further analysis.